Today's objective is solving proportions using cross products. This <clears throat> is a proportion. It compares two equal ratios. So 3 over 5 is the same as 12 over 20. However, if we were going to read it, we wouldn't say 3 fifths equals 12 twentieths. That's not how you read a proportion. You read a proportion saying 3 is to 5 as 12 is to 20. Okay? So 3 is to 5 as 12 is to 20 is a proportion because the ratios are equal. Also, the cross products are equal. The cross products are what you get when you multiply diagonally across an equal sign. So 3 times 20 equals 5 times 12 because 60 equals 60. And this is how you would check to see if, if you had the four numbers written like this to see if it was a proportion. You find the cross products. And if they're not equal, it's not a proportion. To solve for a missing piece in a proportion, you find the cross products by cross multiplying and then divide. So here are two examples. The first one, 4 is to 5 as 6 is to what? Well, when we do our cross products, you always do the diagonal with the variable first. So 4 times x is 4x, and 5 times 6 is 30. Now we divide both sides by 4. Normally we would just say x equals 30 over 4 and simplify that and say 15 over 2, but that looks funny to have a um, ratio with a fraction in the numerator, so we need to actually change it to a decimal. So we say 7.5. Here's another one. <clears throat> 6 is to 15 as x is to 10. You can reduce the fraction, but you can't reduce going across an equal sign. Okay? So I'm going to reduce this 6 over 15, I'm going to divide each by 3 and get a new proportion and say 2 over 5, 2 is to 5 as x is to 10. You cannot reduce the 15 and the 10, okay? We just cannot reduce across an equal sign. So, first, do you see the relationship in the denominator? 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, so because there is a relationship in the denominator, you can use that same relationship in the numerator. So you can apply the times 2 to the numerator. So 2 times 2 is 4, okay? Or you can always cross multiply, in which we would say 5 times x is 5x, 2 times 10 is 20, divide by 5, x equals 4. So when you're solving proportions, if possible, reduce. If possible, solve by using a relationship, but you can always use cross products. That's it.